Hello, uh, as you can see from my desktop, my name is Alina, uh, and I was just wanting to give a little tutorial here today. Okay, uh, basically what my tutorial will be is how to do photos like this. And this is something that's always boggled my mind was how do you do a black and white photo and still have something in color on it? And it always drove me crazy. I could never figure it out until a friend of mine introduced me to a website called pixlr.com. So I'm going to show you two things you can do. Today I'm going to show you how to do that black and white. I'm going to also show you how to change that color. If that color of the center, the focal point, is not the color you want it, I'm going to show you how you can change it also. So I'm going to use this photo. This photo I found online. You can see taking it at Max uh conservatory at the Calgary Zoo in Canada, so it's not mine, I don't own it. But I'm gonna show you how to get that butterfly. You need the butterfly blue. But the orchids and the green behind it, that'll be all black and white. I'm going to show you how to do that. And believe it or not, it's surprisingly easy. So let's go to Pixlr. Um, you can either open it from the website address, so I can just copy and paste this. Or you can just do what I did and just save it to my computer. And it's easier that way sometimes. Sometimes there's problems with the URL. Identify orchid. Okay. So here we are. We're we're in we're in Pixlr. Now what we do now, the first thing that we do is make a duplicate layer of this. So we have two layers of the same exact picture, one right on top of the other. And the reason for this is, you can see, erased, I'm erasing, but nothing's going away. But when we just have one layer, see, it gets rid of the whole photo when you do erase. That's the point of two layers. Now, we desaturate the photo to give it that black and white look. And now is when we just start erasing what we want to have color. Can be a little meticulous sometimes. You gotta know where you want the color to be, what has color. Kind of like trying to color inside the lines on something. So there we have our butterfly. The butterfly is all blue now. And that's great. If you want to leave it at that, you just flatten your image. And voila, you got your photo. But if you want to do something 
you want to make that butterfly say purple, you're going to use this tool right here, the color replace tool. And what we're going to do is make it purple, any kind of purple. Really use that and there. Instead of a blue butterfly, we now have a purple butterfly. Or we can go, we can go with orange. do whatever color you want. And I'm just gonna go back. See there's there's the original. And then there's purple. Orange. And it's it's that easy. So I hope this helps someone because I was so grateful to my friend when I finally figured out how to do this. So have fun and check out Pixlr. There's a lot more stuff you can do on it. I've done a lot of editing on this program since I found out about it. So have fun.